Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. Now, we're really excited to hear about some of the new features coming from Airtable that have been announced over the past couple of days. But when you dig into it, you start to find out that really most of those features are coming to the enterprise plan. And unfortunately, many organizations don't have the enterprise plan. So we're excited about things like Airtable AI and two-way syncing. But when you start to look at how the features are now being released and that it's so focused on enterprise, a lot of organizations are starting to say, okay, well, what about me? Like, we want this functionality too. Now, this isn't a huge surprise to us if you followed our video in the fall about the Airtable layoffs and the reorganization that's happening. All the messaging was around enterprise, enterprise, enterprise. And you know what? No one can fault them for that because in this mixed economic climate, your enterprise clients are going to bring in the big dollars, which is how you want to be able to stay stable, weather the storm, and be able to expand. So that makes sense. But you know, I'd say in this no-code community built off of a freemium plan where lots of small, mid-sized organizations have adopted the platform, suddenly to say, hey, all those features you've been asking about for years that are now coming to the platform, eh, we're just going to lock them off in enterprise. It's a little bit difficult for people to digest. And I think that reaction was felt in the community if you're looking through the comments of the recent announcements. Now, I have to say at Automation Helpers, we work with clients who are probably about 50-50 between using Airtable and using SmartSuite. SmartSuite, a newer comer to the space, but they've got a lot of the same functionality as Airtable. And we have some folks that are migrating over from Airtable to SmartSuite, some from ClickUp to SmartSuite. And the one thing that I have to say in this regard is that when it comes to transparency and you know valuing the input of the community that's there, SmartSuite is really on top of this because if you go to their website and you look at the enterprise plan, it's really transparent. Yes, you have to pay more. You get some additional features. A lot of it's about extra record counts and things like that. But you know exactly what to expect. You know, if you are on a smaller plan and you upgrade, it's very obvious what you need to do. Now, in Airtable, it's always kind of felt like, hey, here's our transparent pricing. And then you enter the mysterious enterprise world. And, and really, you have no transition point between it. Like either you are an enterprise customer and you can pay that or you're not even in that world. You don't really understand and see the pricing mechanism. So I'd really like to see a world where we could get to a more transparent pricing so that someone could potentially transition and say, you know what, I'm going to have to pay more for those enterprise features, but at least I know how much more value I'm getting for that. And that's what I'm kind of hoping I'd see from Airtable in the future. Now, of course, I'm just one person, so my opinion doesn't matter a whole lot, but it was refreshing to see in the comments that Airtable was responding to that and saying, yeah, you know what? We are looking at our pricing and our packaging to make it more accessible for the future. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Do you think that Airtable is going to make their pricing and packaging more accessible for companies of all sizes? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about getting set up with SmartSuite or Airtable, feel free to reach out to us for a free 30-minute consultation at automationhelpers.com.